Where's McKenna, Kennedy? I don't know. She's gonna be late. Quiet on the set. <gasps> Where you have you been? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's time for Good Morning LCA. Get ready to be informed. Hi, I'm Kennedy. And I'm McKenna. And I'm Riley. Today is Sept Monday, September 23rd. Hey, this is a little late, but like they say, better late than never. Happy birthday, Miss Brubaker. Yeah, you're the best. Miss Brubaker's birthday was last Thursday. And it was also Minos and Riley's birthday. Are you guys triplets? Whoa. No, silly. They just share the same birthday. Okay, time to move on to this month's character trait. This month, we're learning about courage. The definition for courage is being brave enough to do what you should do, even when you're afraid. And the verse for courage is Psalm 56, 3. It says, when I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. Okay, it's time to honor our flag. You know what that means. It's time to say the pledge. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Check this out. It's time for some news you can use. Grandparents' Day is this Friday. Grandparents' Day is awesome. Be sure to visit the book fair this week on Friday. Take your Zumo and Zufu, that's Chinese for grandmother and grandfather. Since when did you learn to speak Chinese? Um, I have lots of hidden talents, but let's put it that way. Homecoming is getting closer this year. Homecoming is October 14 through 18. Here's the dress up days that for that week. Monday, October 14th, you can wear red, white, blue, or camo. It's Patriotic Day. On Tuesday, you can dress up like your favorite movie, TV, or video game character. You could be Mario. Mario get you next time. Next time. Wednesday is sports. Day, dress up in your favorite team jersey. Thursday is called Future You. Dress up in whatever you want to be when you grow up. And of course, Friday, October 18th is Super Spirit Day. Dress up in green and gold. It's time to get out my green afro. That's it for the news. <laughs> for the weather report. Well guys, it's officially fall. The first day of fall was yesterday. Well, it feel like fall yet? I mean, really? I want to wear my new sweater. Hmm. Uh, not yet. But hey, at least it's not 115 outside. The high temps are going to be near 90, and the low temps will be dipping into the 60s. No rain in the forecast for this week. We kind of need some, though. Last Friday, we did have some measurable precipitation, but we do need more. What? We need, you know, more rain. Oh, and that's it for the weather. Touchdown! Play ball. It's time for some legacy sports. Ready, all you Eagles fans? Wait, wait, wait. I have something to tell you guys. Yeah? What? Did you guys know that the maximum weight of a calf in the calf roping event is at a rodeo is 350 pounds? Well, since fourth grade, we've been going to the rodeo in November. I thought you guys liked to know that. Uh, that makes sense. We better.
to get back to the sports. Okay, for all you football fans, our varsity boys play on Friday night against the Highland School. This is an away game, so check out the website for directions. Remember, there's also lots of football going football games going on here at Legacy. We have junior high football and junior varsity football too. And don't forget our girls volleyball teams. We have junior high volleyball, junior varsity volleyball, and varsity volleyball. For more information on these games and for all the latest sports news, check out the Legacy website at www.legacyca.com. Go fight win! Go Eagles! It's time for some Bible trivia. How much do you know about the Bible? Did you guys know the last question? It was kind of hard, but it came from the book of Ruth. We asked, why did Naomi decide to return to Jerusalem? The answer is, because her sons and husband died. So tragic. Oh, I remember the story. Naomi and her family went to live in Moab because there was a famine, no food. While they were living there, Naomi's sons and husband died. So she decided to go back home. Yeah, 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 yeah. And her daughter-in-law, Ruth, what was her? It is Great story of how someone who did not believe in God came to know it. I love that story. <laughs> All right, it's time for a new question. Let's see if I can come up with them. Hmm. Okay, here's one. In the story of the sower, what does the seed represent? You can find the answer to this one in Mark chapter 4. Be sure to watch us next time to see if you guessed it right. Oh, that's it for our show today. Are you guys ready for a joke? Sure they are. This one comes from Mrs. Hudson's kindergarten class. Way to go, kindergarten. And Luke, this one's for you. How do you make an apple turnover? Push it down a hill. <laughs> Now you're making me hungry. I love apple turnovers, especially in the morning when they're warm and right out of the oven. Kennedy, stop. I wonder if Mrs. Robbie has any apple turnovers today. Let's go see. <laughs> okay. I Bye. love you, Finley. See ya. Bye, Evo. Does no one understand that? Bye, Evo. Does no one?